and peace to all my loved ones out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I got some more beautiful information for y'all and to make sure y'all don't get caught slipping. Um, Cause uh, I guess people love to get, uh, get, people love to be slipping around here when it comes to this health stuff because we love to eat. We just love to eat. So this video is gonna be titled um, the problem with veganism and it's going to be titled that because um, we got to pay really close attention to these foods that are being sold in the stores and what I mean by that is they're weak foods um, a lot of times vegans or people that that try to eat healthy um, they, they, they switch from a, a, a less healthy diet and they go to eat these plants and they go straight to the stores. But these these foods that they sell in the stores are weak foods. They're they're oftentimes grown in the greenhouses, which don't receive natural light. Um, they're grown in pots or they're not grown in the ground. Or even if they are, say um even the herbs that I, I go get, they're mass produced and it causes a lot of stress on these plants and then we eat those plants so um when it comes to the power of the the food that you're eating is really important so for example uh, even gardens even gardens that we grow like when we grow our own garden we're growing these these tomatoes and all of these um these fruits and vegetables but we always have to tend to those plants and those are weak, they're weak plants and then we go eat that weakness. So what we really wanna do is we wanna stick to mother nature. Uh, we wanna go straight to what is already there. Um, like the natural the natural plants are already there, these weeds that we, or that we were trained to pull up and throw away, those are the strong plants. Those are the ones with all the antioxidants, the ones with all the iron, the magnesium, um, uh, all of the, you can go on and on about the list, calcium, uh, zinc, iodine, copper, they have all of that in there naturally. And it's, um, it's ionic, meaning it is electricity. It's going to, it's going to give a charge to you. That's the science behind it too. If you look into, um, chelation and assimilation in the body, you'll, you can, you'll see a lot of, um, why just the things that they have in the stores, even the fruits and vegetables is, is dead. So what we wanna do is we wanna go out and pick out what is already there. Um, dandelion, uh, they have a thing called, a herb called chicory, milo. If you're in this area, if you're in the California area, Northern America, um, these plants are strong like you, you can they just get they 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 grow um seasonally um they they're there they go they grow with the nature the bio rhythm or the um I, I don't know how you want to say it but um they grow with the seasons they're supposed to be there and they're strong so you when you eat these strong plants you be, you become literally strong we eat weak stuff and you get weak uh, we are we become domesticated we eat domesticated stuff and if you notice these plants that you eat that are domesticated the bugs eat it up that's why you have to always tend to your garden and all of these things because you have to sometimes you have to spray spray stuff on it the bugs just tear it up but these natural plants the bugs work with them um we go out and get eat up by mosquitoes because we are a product of these unnatural unnatural plants but you begin to eat. Um, I remember when I went out to Honduras, um, uh, my buddies are all getting tore up by these mosquitoes, but I had done a lot of detoxification. I started eating uh, natural plants before I had got out there. Um, and the whole time I was there, I had got one mosquito bite. And I didn't know at the time, but it had a lot to do with me cleaning out my body and getting in these herbs. Um, prior to going out there. And I had a lot a lot more fun because of the the work I put in. But 
So what we really want to do is go out and go out and really, and really get these natural plants that are already there. Now I understand that we like to taste food. We love tasting. We 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 are addicted to food. So yeah, eat your eat your foods, but just keep in mind that it's just for taste. And when we're talking about healing, taste taste does not fall into play into in, when it comes to healing. That taste is actually the opposite of of healing. Um, that's why we keep searching for this high, this taste. So uh, yes, I understand. We want to. You can grow a garden and you know forage for the, get the foods that you want, um, that you want to taste. But don't get lost in the sauce. Make sure you go out and and deal with mama straight to, straight from the ground, and get the sunlight, the real sunlight. So yep, um, my video is always quick, packed with info, and I would. Um, I guess I'm gonna do another video with. Uh, with more herbs that you can go out with, go out and get. But yeah, there's a three that you can go out and get if you're out here in California. Um, you can get, you can get dandelion. This stuff grows everywhere. Um, you can get chicory. It looks just like dandelion. It's uh, it's pretty much the same. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna. All this stuff is good for you. I don't I don't get too technical with it. It's all great. Um, you can get watercress. Watercress is really, really nutrient packed. It has a um, has a lot more water in it actually. It's um, it's really juicy. You can cook that up and make it make it into like a little salad. You can make all of these. You can make all of these into a, like a cool like green, or you can just go out and juice them. You can go out and just juice. You can go out and get a gang of the leaves, put crank them into a juicer. And my yeah, of course they're nasty, but like I said, that's not why we're doing it. We're doing it for the health reasons. Um, we got chicory, dandelion, uh, mallow. Mallow, mallow is a good one. It's uh, it, it, that stuff grows a lot. It's a really, really, it's really um, I want to say dense out here where I am. And so I would, I just make a big pot of greens out of Milo. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, the names of a couple of the herbs that I know, uh, in the description. So I'll spell them out for y'all. So don't ask me no more questions about what herbs I got. And I didn't pronounce it right, but yes, just go out and get some of these, these natural plants. Even, like I said, even the herbs that I'm selling or herbs that I take, I understand that these are mass produced herbs. And um, the ones I can't really get my hands on, I, I'll take the hit on that. Um, I do as best as I can. But when we buying stuff, man, people are going to manipulate it. And it's always going to be some shit. So we got to go straight to the earth where there's no, there's no money involved. Just keep it real. It's not about taste. I'll do another video on taste. That's just the high we searching for. But all in all, that's, uh, that's all I really had to say about it. Um, just don't get lost in these titles about vegans and um, alkaline diets. It's, it's bullshit. Just go straight to mama and you ain't got to think about all of that. You don't get, got to get lost in all this information on the internet. Go straight to moms. All right, that's all I love. I'll see y'all later. I'll clock back in. Peace. All right, I had to, you know, show y'all some visuals. I couldn't just talk no shit and give y'all nothing. So what I'm going to do is I just came to the backyard real quick. And uh, see what we got out here. I know we got some. I know Milo for sure. We got a lot of that. This is what Milo look like right here. We got some Milo. This one right here. A little something like this. And this stuff grows everywhere for sure. Um, that you can make a big pot of greens with. Um, let's see what else we got. Watercress, I probably picked the worst time to come out here in winter time. They're just like hardly any any of them. They're not really lush. We got some watercress. Watercress looks something like this. It's watercress. Um, it normally has a lot more leaves on it, but like I said, it's winter time. It's a little short. We a little short. But some places, man, I, I went to a friend's backyard the other day and shoot, she had a she had bushes of Milo. I'm like, yo, I don't have that in my backyard. But uh, let's see. I know we have some dandelion. Dandelion is that one. I don't know if you uh, if you were when you were a kid that had that the little fluffy 
had that fluffy flower, you make a wish, you blow on it. That's dandelion. And then chicory has the uh, leaves, leaves just like dandelion. Let me see. Oh, we got some around here, man. Oh yeah, you can um uh, make sure when you when you, if you foraging for these for these uh, herbs, make sure you stay away from places that have that might be like spraying herbicides and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of times you can find they grow like right in your grass, but as, as long as you're not putting nothing crazy on your grass, then you should be okay. Um. See, give me a second. I'm gonna find so I know I have some in the front yard. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. There goes some chicory right there. Get some more. It's right out here in my front yard. Uh, uh, sage also grows here in California. A lot of sage. You can get tons of sage here. Uh, but yeah, um, make sure you are looking up these herbs before you go out and just go eat. You know what I mean? I'm not telling you just to go eat or that, you know, anything that you go see out in, out in nature. Do your research, you know, make sure you be smart about this. And uh, let's work. Let's get back to nature. Peace out.